I'm Jo Hilton, Assistant Chief Nurse at Bradford Teaching Hospitals. This film will explain more about what our new strategy means for our patients. Over the next five years, we'll put plans in place to develop the skills of our nurses, midwives and other healthcare professionals to ensure they can give high quality care to patients. One of the ways that we'll do this is by embedding a culture of kindness. This allows our people to learn about the value of kindness and how we can ensure that we are kind in everything we do. Here's Head of Chaplaincy, Mohammed Arshad, to tell us more. The single most important thing we can give patients and their families is to treat them with kindness. Simple acts of kindness can make a huge difference to the recovery of our patients and to the well-being of our colleagues. So we've started an embedding kindness program which aims to embed kindness into everything we do. From being greeted warmly by the first person a patient meets at the beginning of their care and then throughout their treatment until they are discharged. We want our patients to feel well cared for during their whole experience. Thanks Arshad. It's also important to get the right services in the right place. One of the ways that we'll do this is by developing virtual services. We already have a number of virtual services such as the virtual ward. Their use increased considerably during the COVID-19 pandemic and we're planning to expand virtual services even further. These new services will be developed by the very people who deliver them on a day-to-day -day basis, our doctors, nurses and healthcare professionals. Here's one of our consultant ophthalmologists, Professor Rachel Pilling, to tell you more. Virtual services come in many forms. They may use technology to allow an outpatient appointment over the phone or a video call, or they may allow people to be cared for at home, receiving visits from health professionals. In these cases, technology can be used to monitor the condition of a patient and stay in touch with them. Virtual care services have a number of advantages because they allow patients to be cared for at home in familiar surroundings by people they know. This not only means that patients recover more quickly, it also frees up hospital beds for people with more serious illnesses. We will extend the virtual ward so that every major specialty in the trust is able to offer access to the virtual ward for every clinically suitable patient. And we will use technology for outpatient appointments so that patients don't have to travel to hospital. And we'll also use it to allow patients to access information about their illness and how to manage it. Thanks, Rachel. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, We've continued to care for our patients with the most urgent clinical needs, but many routine procedures had to be postponed. Our new virtual services will allow us to see more people in a shorter time, and they'll play a vital part in helping us to reduce waiting times and improve patient care. We've got some great things planned during the next five years right across the Trust. You can find out more by visiting the link on screen now. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.